Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to size the baseboard heat. I have three examples. One of the things right out of the out of the gate is that the rule of thumb for how many watts of heat you need is to multiply 10 watts of heat for every square foot of the area. So if your bedroom was 10 feet by 10 feet, it'd be 100, multiply that by 10, you get a 1,000 watt baseboard heat heater is what you need in that room. Our first example then would look at that 1,000 watt baseboard heater if that was the only thing on that circuit. Say we're doing a renovation and adding a baseboard heat heater to this room. We would take 1,000 watts divided by 240. Um, most of our, a lot of our baseboard heats are, heaters are 240, although you can buy 120 volt heaters as well, in which case you would have to divide it by 120 volts. That gave me 4.17 amps. So our minimum wire size is going to be based on the 4.17. Of course, we use 14.2 as minimum wire size. And so we're gonna end up with a wire that can easily handle that load. 14.2 room X out of table two in the 75 degree column gives us 20 amps. To find the breaker size, I take that ampacity, 4.17, multiply it by 125% because our standard breakers are not rated for continuous duty at 100%. So we have to load them, uh, we have to upsize them so they can handle the load. And we get 5.2, our minimum breaker size, typically a 15 amp double pull breaker is the minimum size for homes in Canada. Our second example is to 1500 watt baseboard heaters. Let's say we were putting these on a circuit in a large rec room. So 1500 watts times two gives me 3000 watts in total. Again, I'm assuming these are 240 volt baseboard heaters. So divide by 240 gives me a minimum ampacity for my wire of 12.5 amps. Again, looking down here, if I went to table two in the 75 degree column, I could choose a 14.2, um, which is good for 20 amps. Then to pick a um, breaker size, I take that 12.5, multiply it by 125%, gives me 15.6. That's going to be my minimum breaker size. So I choose the next size available, and it's 20 amp breaker. and that's going to be a double pull. This is what the wiring diagram would look like for this. So we'd have a double pull, 20 amp breaker. We'd head out of the panel with a 14-2. That'd be two hots, line one and line two. Line one will tie right on to the thermostat and also continue on to the second thermostat for the second baseboard heater. These could also, if they're in the same room, they could have come off the same thermostat. In this case, I've just drawn them as two separate thermostats. Now your switch leg from each thermostat goes down through the baseboard heater and back up and has to go back on line two. And that happens over here as well. So my switch leg goes down through the resistance of the baseboard, comes back through these morettes all the way back to your main panel. That's what that circuit would look like. Often we load up our baseboard heater circuits. And in this case, my third example has one 1500 watt baseboard heater and three 1000 watt baseboard heaters. For example, this might be one in the living room, one in each of three bedrooms. So add up those wattages, I get 4500 watts. Assuming it's 240 volts divided by 240 gives me 18.75 amps. That's my minimum wire size. Remember, the wire can be smaller than the breaker. So again, in table two, a 14.2 wire can easily carry that uh, 18.75 because it's rated at 20 amps. To find the minimum breaker size, it's 18.75. 
times 1.25 gives me 23.44 amps for minimum breaker size. I go to table 13, I pick a 25 amp breaker. Uh, if the brand that you are installing in the panel does not have a 25 amp breaker, you are allowed to go to a 30 amp breaker. And that would be a double fold. This would be the schematic. So off of line one, we'd come and we'd split and go to four thermostats, one in each room. Each thermostat would have a switch leg that goes to its own baseboard heater and then the neutral. Uh, it's not actually neutral, it's line two coming back because we actually have 240 volts between line one and line two for this installation. Hope that's helpful.